What up, YouTube? Welcome back to Mark and Monday. Guys, we're going to be talking about how to make coins in this Mark and Monday because team of years around here, we have like pretty much four more days to pretty much with the market and pretty much you can make actually killer coins actually with this marketplace. So pretty much we know they're collectibles for this, okay guys? We all know these are collectible, but before we before we talk really about this, we have collectibles. We know the sh the really good ones are pretty much the eighty sevens, the eighty sixes, the eighty fives, the eighty fours, and then pretty much the eighty threes are pretty much a good value too. So we're gonna go into the marketplace, look at the values of each card, and then we're gonna be talking about how to make the coins. And I'm gonna tell you a little secret how to actually make massive coins. It's called bidding because bidding is pretty much where people actually put a card up for like 5K. Some people do bid on it and they forget about it and then they walk away or they're playing a game or hopefully they're thinking they're gonna get that. So we're gonna talk about that today. So let's gonna kind of jump into the marketplace and let's talk about this each range and then let's see which bidding ranges that we should have on when we're doing this. So let's go to the marketplace. All right, boys. All right, so we're gonna start with the 83s overalls because we're gonna see where the ranges are going for this. So pretty much this is, how to do this is pretty much, you wanna go price range, not price range, you wanna buy now, right now. And you wanna actually look for the price where the cards are actually going for. So they're going pretty much in the same, like the 4K range right now, right? They're around the 4K range. They're in the 4K range, okay? So they're pretty much, you know the price of the card. So they're pretty much going in like 4,300. So you know that that's the price that they're going for. So you wanna go to pretty much price range and you wanna kinda go into this range. So you set the pretty much the bar of what you wanna bid on and you see a lot of cards, about 40 cards on the market right now and you see some people actually took bids and I'm actually talking about this because this is where I make pretty much the most coins of how to flip cards because it's a little secret. I don't think a lot of people know this, but you can make massive coins on this, on each range of the cards. So pretty much, you know, the pretty much max price too. So you don't want to go over 3,500 on that. So and pretty much you see the ticker ticking down and that's going to be a little bigger video of how to do this because I want to explain it properly and maybe it'll help people out how to bid on. So before you kind of, you, you can click on it and then wait, but usually you want to wait close to like 25 seconds to 20 seconds left of the card. So pretty much I'm going to take a bid on this. So let's just kind of take the bid and you see somebody bid on that. So you kind of want to range it. So you know, right there that you, you have 3,500. Then you go to your marketplace. Then you go to your injectors and then, okay. So he kind of went, you want to click on it again. And then you take a controller and you just spam up and down on the controller until you see your card appears back into your collection. You see that, then you just go to like the bid again, you raise it up, and then you just go spam it back and forth, and you're pretty much taking the trigger going up and down till you see the card actually appears on it. And sometimes, you know, you kind of, you the card comes back, sometimes you do win it, and it takes a little, you know, a little glitch that it will come back in here, but it really doesn't. It's really like you won the bid, but, Sometimes people kind of just walk away and you know that we already know the price range, right? So we're going to kind of just go, let's see if we can actually win this. So we know where we want to stop at, right? So that's like about a thousand K ish, but okay. So we're not going to bid on that anymore. So I'm just trying to explain. So let's go back into the marketplace and now we know the range of the cards, right? So let's go back to the 83 overalls boys. And now we're going to see, so, that's the range. We know that they're in like the 4K range kind of ish. So they're in that range. And sometimes you can do get some good steals. So they're in that range. So you can put it, I say, you want to make at least 2K profit 
on these cards. So you can go 3k if you want and you can still do that. Every range can do that. So <clears throat> you can even go 3k and you can have all these cards appear. Or <clears throat> you can want to know the range first and you can go literally go to like say 5k on them. And if they don't appear, okay, you want to raise this up, the price by now, nothing appears and you want to go up a little more, nothing again, you want to put it up, nothing appears. You want it, the card to appear, the first card that appears on the market because that's when you know that's where the market is pretty much the best at. And right now it doesn't look like anything is coming up at 84. That is kind of nuts. They have to be in seven. They have to be in the seven K range. There you go. So they're kind of much closer to like, wow, that's crazy. I almost said seven K. They're pretty much close to seven K. So they're almost pretty much in seven K range of these cards. So they're much pretty much selling in the seven K range. So you know that. <clears throat> so then you know that if they're going for seven K. You want a 2K or 3K profit, so go 5K is your max that you want to bid on. So then you go back to, you cancel that. There you go, you have pretty much all in the 5K range and you can and you can see where the ranges are. It's actually pretty nuts. This works a lot on everything. So it even works on the 85s. Uh, 85s are pretty much a 10k. I know that for a fact. I keep trying to, I've been picking up good deals on them. They're going pretty much at 10k, as you want right there. They're going pretty much for 10k ish. So, you're going to definitely make coins on this. So, I made tons of coins. That's why I have a mill up up there. So, you know, they're going for 10k. So, you can make, I say, 8k. You want to go up to 8k prof 8k so anything from 8 7 to like that range so anything goes up to over 8k i say 850. why not go 850. let's go to 850 850 right here so let's go that so anything in this range you'll make profit and you can see cards that people are bidding on and they probably took a bid and they took off. They're like, okay, remember, we've got that. We might win this. So we're taking off. But the thing is, a lot of people forget that they just take a bid and then they just run away. Bid, run away. So you can see somebody probably just bid that or they bid it for a while back. And then you can see a lot of people took bids. Some people didn't take bids. But 100%, a couple of times, you can probably just. It will expire and you will win, actually win the card for cheaper. And I know that I did that. I got a pasta for Christmas Christmas time for 5K. And they were going for like 16K. So I'm like saying like you can make good steals on that. So 80, these guys, as you can tell, the 86 is the same thing, boys. So you just have to know the price range of them. So let's go to the price ranges of what the players are going for right now you see 16 kid 16k a bit at 5k so you need to know where these ranges are so it's not anything at that range so we're gonna go 25k and <clears throat> they're pretty much in what 23k 23k 23 ish let's go 24 okay so there's some at 21k so let's go to like literally at like the breaking point at like 22k so they're pretty much in like the 21k ish and you see one at 7k bid so you know that they're at pretty much 22k so you want to take that out you go to here and this is where you can probably make the most profit so you know they're going for 22 ish so you kind of want to kind of have what 16k ish bidding profit so you make the most amount of coins. And I know some of them are usually at 1K. Yes, you have like a Christmas World Junior card there. So what do you want to do when you see it like the one hour mark wherever? You could go. You can raise that. You can go down. 
you can put this down or you can put these guards in your watch list so you click them in a watch list and you can come back in an hour and see if there are bids on that uh, it works i do it all the time so 83 there's the same thing you can see a lot of these price ranges up here a lot of cards up at 16 but it, it changed this kind of changes all the time and i think these cards are like 35k and i think these ones are 35k right on the dot 35k one so i want to see where the most of these cards are on the market for most of these cards go on the market for 38 yeah, so 38k, I think, this is like the most. <clears throat> uh, I'm not saying getting ready for the next event. I'm saying try to make coins, boys, because right now the market's like kind of going kind of like this right now, and it's hitting like up there. You can make massive coins. You can cash in on stuff. I'm here to help you guys try to make coins, so why not try? So, yeah, so 36k is pretty much the max price of that. And you can tell a lot of people are are probably waiting for cards to kind of go cheaply on the market. So you get to go for bids. <clears throat> and pretty much you can see a lot of people are going for bids too, like 20k. I got a I cut a card at 88k last it's like 21k and I flipped them for 31 or some of that. Something crazy. So bidding does work. You make tons of coins. <clears throat> you can do this. Same thing here too. I got him for a pretty crazy amount. I sold him for 31, I think. So like they're pretty much in the same range almost. And so let's check this out, okay? We have one card, 18 minutes left, 25K, zero bids, 61K. So, yeah, so we have him. We actually watch him. Let's kind of go for this. So we're going to go 88K for 35K. 35k on the market okay so <clears throat> if i went to go bid on that card if nobody took a bid on it i could probably make what 15k profit if that if i do that 35k so people are putting a uh, 34k <clears throat> there's a range of these cards and i have cards in the range i have cards in the watch list here okay 25k Bing, bang, boom. It is golden when you know how to do that. Look at this. <clears throat> a 91. It's going for 38K. That's pretty crazy. <clears throat> I think 88K is like, because I know a lot of people are not going to bid on these cards ish because of. You got to throw them into sets. I don't think like people are actually going to pick this up. But it's 25k. You can try to flip it for 33, 34. But oh, there's a bid. There's a bid for 35k. So 100k, 35k. You just have to know the ranges of that. But I will stick. Really, just stick for the 87s <laughs> because the 87s are for the set. And if people will use these cards for the sets, uh, that's what I'm trying to say. Stick with the set ranges right now because <clears throat> any higher ranges and you're not going to make coins than the lower ranges i think 87s you're going to make killer coins 86 you'll get killer coins and pretty much 84s and 85s and 83s especially 83s because 2k let's see let's can we actually steal this i know i'm bidding a little early a lot of people bid on that but you can actually take steals on this stuff too. Like, or like you can come up to like a card. Like you can come up with something <clears throat> and you see somebody hasn't bid on a card. If you know that range, like, oh, there's a card there. And bam. You can make a little steal on that. I did it a couple times. <clears throat> I got pretty, what did I got? I got Evolution uh, filled with cheeseburger for what, 25K? No, 55k for Phil Castle. So it does work. You just have to know some of these ranges and it works. I've been doing it all year. Uh, sniping cards off for cheap and then flipping them. <clears throat> if you know the ranges, you'll make massive coins, boys. So guys, that's pretty much the video. Uh, 
Let me in the comments below if that's the way you guys do it or it will help you. Let me know in the comments below, guys. If you're new, do hit that subscribe button and like the video, guys. Guys, I'm out, guys. Peace for next Monday. Market Monday.